Hello and welcome to the Proyaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 45, Park Adjusted ERA. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. Before I can start this week's report, I have a public service announcement to make. Last week's data was inaccurate. Those surprises like Yokohama and Jingu leaning neutral, not only didn't they feel right, but they were actually quite wrong. I really blame myself for not putting the numbers to use, you know, as a use case. So this week I have revised the numbers which I am making available on a Google spreadsheet in Google Drive in the show notes on both Google Plus and JapaneseBaseball.com. Putting these things up as just images, that was rather lazy of me, and I promise not to do that sort of thing again because it's much better to have this data out there so that other people can use it and inevitably verify it as well. Nonetheless, the formula that I use to run my calculations is this one right here from Wikipedia. Simple enough, right? Well, my code for running these calculations looked like this. See the value for T2? That should read the sum of A1 and A2, not A1 and H2. H2, in this case, is the number of runs, hits, etc., allowed by the stadium's main team while at home. A2 is the number of runs, hits, etc., allowed by the team stadium while the team was on the road. As I was validating the numbers from a pitcher's perspective this week, I started running into inconsistencies between offensive and defensive results, prompting me to find and correct this error. After applying this correction, the results make much more sense. And there is much less extreme data on the offensive side while extending the most extreme value on the pitching side to just a bit smaller of a number than before. These numbers, you know, they just feel better. And with that out of the way now, I've added a column to the results from last week. Park factored earned runs. These numbers also gave me pause for contemplation when I first saw them. How can a park factor for earned runs be larger than for runs? By the very nature of earned runs, it's a subset of runs allowed. You can't give up more earned runs than you do runs. That's just crazy. Well, actually, it does make sense. The factor which I am calculating is a percentage of how often an event occurs at the team's main park as opposed to while the team is on the road. So, if the number of, say, errors a team commits at home is less than on the road, then it kind of makes sense that the percentage between the two is going to be a little different. And when I look at all the numbers, the difference is pretty much in the range of plus or minus four compared to total runs given up. Now, I'm going to ask those of you sabermetricians out there to correct me if what I am doing next is wrong. But I was unable to find a very good explanation about how to apply park effects to pitchers. So the first thing I'm going to do this week is explain the algorithm I've come up with. This should also help prevent me from messing up variables. As I'm sure not many of you are XQuery programmers, I'll try to explain the code as best I can in plain English. The function that does the calculations is called adjust for parks. It takes two parameters, the year being calculated for 
and a sequence of given pitchers stats baseball pitching elements based on sports ML ML standing for markup language which is an XML schema for sporting events. The stats baseball pitching element is just basically a pitcher's line from a box score, and it looks a lot like this. Now, we loop through the pitcher records grouped by site reference, which is an ID for a given stadium, and a home team reference, which is a team ID. The park factor element for a given stadium is taken for a given year and home team. Now, because Tokyo Dome and Kyoseta Dome are both used by other teams than their usual home team, this acts as a filter to prevent, for example, the Giants Park effects from being applied to Nippon Ham games at Tokyo Dome, except when the Giants are the home team, thus playing under Central League rules. The same goes for Hanshin playing at home in Kyoseta Dome. Under such cases as when the fighters used Tokyo Dome as their main venue this past season, the park factor variable will receive the null set. That is to say, the variable will be empty. The number of innings pitched is added together from all of the games at a given site. The sum innings function basically converts innings to outs, adds them all together, then converts them back to innings in decimal format. So that's how something like 1.1 innings plus 5.2 innings comes out to equal 7.0 innings. You're taking 1 and a third plus 5 and 2 thirds and getting 7. This is a well used and well tested function. Next I calculate the sum of runs allowed and earned runs allowed at the site by the given pitcher by the factor inverted around 100 then divided by 100 to get a percentage. What do you mean by inverted around 100? Well, let's take K Stadium for example. The ballpark's role in the number of runs scored or allowed is 1.07 times the norm. 1.06 times for earned runs. The park is penalizing pitchers by 7% and 6% respectively for runs allowed and runs earned. So I want to reward the pitchers by those amounts, subtracting 7 and 6 from 100 respectively, and making the factors 93% and 94% when applied to runs and earned runs. But what happens when there is no park factor? Well, that's simple. The factor defaults to 100% or 1.00, which is 100 divided by 100. The innings pitched, runs allowed, and earned runs are then returned as an element for each group of sites and home teams. So, let's run through an example for Yasuhiro Ogawa. Yasuhiro Igawa pitched one game at Akita Stadium. In that game, he gave up two earned runs. Because this is a third party stadium, we're going to give it a factor of 100, which, when inverted, is still 100%, or 1.0. 1.0 times 2 is 2 for his adjusted number of earned runs at Akita. Moving on to Jingu, he pitched in 10 games there allowing 25 earned runs. Now because Jingu is an extreme hitters park, it has a factor of 121 which inverted around 100 comes out to 79 percent. Basically 100 minus 21 is 79. So 25 earned runs times 
0.79 is 19.75 adjusted earned runs for Jingu. Next up is Koshien. At Koshien, Ogawa threw in two games, allowing nine earned runs. Koshien, of course, is an extreme pitcher's park with a factor of 87. 87 inverts to 1.13, so the nine earned runs times 1.13 comes out to be 10.17 earned runs given up adjusted. Next we get to the interesting part. Ogawa threw two games at Kyoseta Dome. One of those games was against Oryx, the other was against Hanshin. The one against Oryx was, of course, during interleague play. So at Kyoseta Dome versus Oryx, we have the factor of 92 inverted. We get uh, 108%. So the one run times 108% is 1.08. But the other game, the other game was against Hanshin when Hanshin was using Kyoseta Dome as home during the Road of Death that they annually go on while the Koshien tournament is going on at Koshien. Uh, that's the high school tournament at Koshien. So against Hanshin, we don't want to use the Oryx run fa or park factors, so we're just going to assign a 100 park factor for the game at Koshien with Hanshin. So the one earned run that he gave up multiplied by one, we get one adjusted at Kyoseta Dome. Matsuyama, Matsuda, Nagoya Dome, Seiba Dome, Shizuoka, and Tokyo Dome. All of these are processed uh, in one batch for each time through the loop. Matsuyama and Shizuoka are both third-party stadiums, so they get a 100 park factor by default. And Tokyo Dome is... Uh, just a natural 100 uh, for the past three seasons factored together, um, which I find interesting. So Tokyo Dome is an extreme neutral location for going with park adjustments. Okay, let's apply 178 innings pitched, and that results in a 2.77 ERA an improvement of 0.16 on his earned run average. So, my question to those of you who know this stuff better than I, is this the proper way to calculate a park-adjusted ERA? Is it a plausible way to do so? Either way, I present to you the top 10 ERA winners in the two leagues for 2013. As you can see, Makun beat everyone hands down for both natural and adjusted ERA. Oryx's Chihiro Kaneko dipped under the 2.00 mark thanks a great deal to throwing most of his games away from pitcher-friendly Kyoseta Dome, 13 at Kyoseta and 16 away. Stanridge jumps ahead of teammate Nomi. Yakult's super rookie, Ryan Ogawa, jumps from 8th to 5th place, throwing so often at Hitter's Paradise Jingu Kyujo. I think this helps to emphasize how much better Ogawa was than the Giants' golden rookie, Tomoyuki Sugano, with regard to Rookie of the Year consideration. SoftBank's Tadashi Setsu falls in the ranks, as does Nippon Ham's Mitsuo Yoshikawa after park adjustments. And on that note, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me, and until next week, take care.